Okay, so this is the first video of collecting every single LEGO Star Wars The Clone Wars minifigure. That's right, I'm trying to collect all of the LEGO Star Wars The Clone Wars figures from the TV show. So these figures came out from 2008 all the way up until today. In fact, this week we are getting the Mandalorian Starfighter set with Bo-Katan and Gar Saxon coming out. Really excited for that one. But anyway, this, the purpose of this video is just to show you what I'm starting with as far as on YouTube. And hopefully someday I'll be able to collect every single LEGO Star Wars, the Clone Wars minifigure. There are about, there's over a hundred of the Lo Clone Wars minifigures. Probably 110 uh, to 120 of them. Right now I'm only missing probably under 30 of them according to my brick set. So just gonna show you them right now. This is my prequel display, which includes all of my Clone Wars minifigures. So you'll see up on the top row, we have a lot of the older minifigures, including some of the really, really hard to find one these days, like Jango Fett, which is my favorite Lego minifigure, including all of Lego themes out there. So very exciting. Eventually, when I get closer to collecting every single Clone Wars minifigure, or I complete them all, I will be moving all of the Clone Wars guys into a different display, or at least pulling one of each variant. So I still may have, you know, a few extra Mandalorians that are duplicates in here, but the goal is for all of the unique ones to go into the unique Clone Wars display. So let's get started with looking at the Clone Wars minifigures I have. Okay, up here we have Commander Droid and ARC Trooper and ARF Troopers. So the ARF Troopers are from the Rancor Battalion and all of these guys came out in 2012 in the Elite Clone Trooper Battle Pack. We've also got an Umbaran, uh, this Geonosian, and I think that that's it for that row. The next row is where the bulk of the guys are. We got some of the villains. We got Rod of the Hut from the 2008 ATT. Grievous, Magna Guard, Cad Bane, who is my favorite Clone Wars character outside of Ahsoka. Very awesome character. He, spoilers, he is uh, has been featured in Star Wars Media recently. Uh, haven't really finished watching that, but hopefully it'll be good. And then Reiko Hardeen. Well, Obi-Wan disguises Reiko Hardeen. That figure is from one of my favorite arcs in the Clone Wars. It's probably top two. The box features heavily Cad Bane and Obi-Wan disguised as Reiko Hardin. Recommend going back and watching that Clone Wars arc if you don't know what I'm talking about. Really good. You got Embo, some of the bad guys. I guess Hondo maybe would be not a bad guy, maybe neutral, chaotic neutral. Got Padme, Senator Amidala. We got Anakin variants. I'm missing only one of the variants, so I need the one from the Coruscant Police Gunship. Then we got Ahsoka. This Mace Windu is really nice. One of the newer figures that came out. And some more of the Jedi. Shock T, who's pretty expensive. And then Palm Krell. Let me know in the comments what you think of him. All right, the next row has more of my army building guys. So we got the clones from the original Clone Wars Battle Pack, the best battle pack in my opinion. And this is my favorite version of the phase one. So uh, my brother is in love with the original clones and I know most people probably prefer the realistic style newer ones, but I really like the Clone Wars ones. We got Bomb Squad, Gunner, here are the commanders from the Clone Wars. So we got Wolf, Cody, Rex, Fox, and Gree. I actually have two Wolfs, one I'm trying to get rid of, and I have two Cody's. I've always had two Cody's, which is convenient because in collecting every single Lego Star Wars Clone Wars minifigure, you need one with all of the armor and then one with only the visor. So that counts as like two unique figures. So I'll have to pick up uh, two of those for Rex, two Rexes, just like the Cody's. So that's one of the rare figures I'm still missing is another Rex, but instead he has a visor. So moving on some more clones, some ARF troopers. 
This guy probably caught your eye. This is the 2012 May the 4th Shadow Arf Trooper figure. Really cool figure. Lego used to make some really good May the 4th poly bags with figures that probably would never be made outside of that because this guy is not canon and he's just kind of a cool figure Lego came up with. Really wish, I think everybody wishes that Lego would go back to making minifigure poly bags for May the 4th. Then some more clones. And moving on, we got my Clone Wars Mandalorians. So the Death Watch, and then these Maul Mandalorians. Actually used to have zero Maul Mandalorians and I traded for five of them. So that's really cool. And then we got Prey Vizsla, who is missing his pauldron, but that's not a big deal to me. So I may just stick it out with no pauldron Prey Vizsla. Darth Maul and Savage. The last two rows, the top one is mainly just prequel figures, so not really from the Clone Wars. And the bottom one is my clones. So I'll go through them both, but it's really only the bottom one that has my Clone Wars guys. So on the bottom, we have Captain Rex. Really got him recently for a good price. He's really good condition. Very cool figure. I'm sure it's a lot of your guys' favorites from the entire Clone Wars. Then we got some more clones and my wolf pack. I love the wolf pack. I have 16 of them. They're obviously my favorite clone legion uh, to have that many. And I, they've really gotten expensive. Like I'm done buying them. They've gotten too expensive. So very cool to have that many. We got Plo Koon, Ahsoka from the newer sets, who is a really nice figure. And then we got some more clones and some Jedi from older sets mainly. Uh, Kashyyyk, Utapau, and some other guys. So yeah, this is what we're dealing with in the case. Okay, so in this bag, we have a few more Clone Wars variants that didn't quite fit in the case, including some Senate Commandos and this Mace Windu droid, uh, Sniper droid, Grievous droid, this like Grievous droid, you need like three of them for having every cloner's many figures. So kind of odd, but a figure I will need many times over. So that's just a quick look. And then this bag right here has all of my extra clones. Well, almost all of my extra clones that don't fit in my display. So a lot of these guys are mainly the 501st troopers and then the old, the original Clone Wars figures. Uh, along with some other variants like this guy, Geonosian, Skrees, uh, that don't count as Clone Wars. I don't think there are any of these are unique, so you've already seen them already, but I do have more than just one or however many you saw in the case. Last part of the collection today is this magnet set. So this is really cool, really special for me to have. Uh, my brother and I, I rem remember going to the Lego store back in probably 2009 or 2010 and picking up every single one of these magnet sets. So they used to have these magnets at the Lego store. They're only like $10 or something. You got three figures and the, you could just pull the figures off the stand. So this Palpatine is identical to the one that came in the Venator. It was a really awesome way to get figures that you wanted for cheap and not have to buy the whole sets. Lego later, of course, started gluing the guys to the stands, which really sucked and killed the collectability of it. And, you know, that's just a move Lego wanted to do to prevent people from not buying the Venator to get this guy, which is kind of scummy. It kind of sucks for a lot of the younger collectors, I'm sure. But uh, it is what it is for now. But anyway, really cool to get today. And it's only 13 bucks. So if you want this, you can just find this for really cheap, really easy to get easy way to get some good figures even today okay so this is the starting point of the collection like i said there's around 120 maybe clone wars figures i'm missing under 30 of them so i definitely already have most of them and in future update episodes of this series we'll throw in more clone wars figures that i collect and then show you my progress on brick set for where i'm at so thank you for watching. Let me know your favorite minifigure in the Clone Wars that has come out. 
and maybe some Clone Wars figures that you wish LEGO would come out in the future. I know personally for me, the number one Clone Wars figure I would love to have would be a Phase 2 Wolf to lead my Wolf Pack. That would get me really excited. Um, yeah, so let me know. What do you guys think? Thank you for watching.